Beyond the shimmering coastlines of our blue marble, an expanse of mystery and wonder beckons. Inviting the inquisitive and the intrepid into its vast embrace. Where the deep blue of the open ocean calls out to the curious and the brave. This boundless realm, covering the majority of Earth's surface, is not merely water. It's a pulsating tapestry of life, enigma, an ecological marvel. Within its embrace are layers, each a distinct world, teeming with creatures that range from the majestic to the elusive. From the sunlit surface where titanic beings like humpback whales and whale sharks glide, to the shadowy depths where bioluminescent wonders are the sole illuminators. The ocean's stratified domains narrate tales of evolution, endurance, and interconnectedness. Join us on this next chapter of our odyssey across this blue marble, our shared sanctuary in the vastness of space. Together, we'll uncover the secrets veiled beneath the waves and revel in the awe-inspiring beauty of our planet's last uncharted frontier. Welcome to Earth's Living Odyssey. Episode 2, The Open Ocean and the Deep Unknown. In the dazzling realm of the sunlit surface, where the ocean meets the sky, a vibrant tapestry of life unfolds. This is the epipelagic zone, the uppermost layer of the open ocean, where the sun's radiant embrace bathes the world below in shimmering light. Here, life flourishes in abundance, and the ocean surface becomes a stage for captivating performances by some of its most magnificent inhabitants. This is where the ocean's heart beats with exuberance. Here, in the sunlit theater of the open ocean, where the waters glisten with a thousand reflections of the sun, we find ourselves in the company of Earth's celebrated acrobats, the humpback whales. These marine maestros are the embodiment of grace and power, and their breaching behavior is a mesmerizing spectacle. In the warm, crystalline waters of Hawaii, a sanctuary for marine life, a humpback whale mother and her juvenile calf embark on the early chapters of life's grand odyssey. These inviting waters, renowned for their vibrant marine biodiversity, become a haven for these gentle giants, offering them the tranquility and nourishment essential for the calf's formative days. The juvenile calf, still discovering its vast aquatic realm, remains closely tethered to its mother. Every gesture and sound from the mother serves as a lesson guiding the calf through the intricacies of their world. Their synchronized movements, the gentle nudges, and the shared explorations paint a vivid tableau of the deep bond they share. In these nurturing waters, the calf learns, grows, and thrives preparing for the many adventures that lie ahead in the vast expanse of the open ocean.
When we listen beneath the waves, the ambient symphony of the ocean takes center stage. The deep, melodic calls of distant humpbacks resonate, echoing the age-old songs of the sea. These songs, each unique and intricate, are the stories of generations, passed down through time. They speak of vast migrations, of challenges faced, and of the ever-changing tapestry of the ocean. The young calf, though still new to these waters, will soon learn its own song. Influenced by its mother's melodies and the collective chorus of its kin. It's a rite of passage, a coming of age in the humpback world. These songs bridge vast distances, ensuring that even in the vastness of the sea, no whale is truly alone. As seasons change and the rhythms of the ocean shift, the time will soon come for the mother and her calf to embark on another monumental chapter of their journey. The warm, nurturing waters that have been their sanctuary will be left behind as they heed the call of distant, cooler seas. This migration will see them traverse thousands of miles from Hawaii all the way to the Gulf of Alaska, facing both the wonders and perils of the open ocean. Guided by instinct and the magnetic pull of the earth, they will journey north, seeking the rich feeding grounds that promise sustenance and growth for the young calf. Gliding effortlessly, with wings outstretched, the manta ray, ready to share its own tale, unfurls before us. A silent guardian of the tropical and subtropical realms. Unlike the migratory humpbacks, manta rays remain anchored to the areas around warmer waters. In places like Manta Bay near Nusa Penida, Bali, these eagles of the sea find sanctuary. The pristine waters around Kelinking Beach provide a haven where they can glide effortlessly through the sunlit epipelagic zone. Here, amidst the vibrant coral reefs and plankton-rich waters of Indonesia, they find both home and sustenance. These eagles of the sea are not just known for their majestic presence, but also their acrobatic prowess. They breach, leaping out of the water with spectacular force and grace, captivating anyone lucky enough to see. Yet, beneath the waves, a different ballet ensues. They patrol gracefully, funneling plankton, into their forward-facing mouths. A testament to nature's delicate balance between size and sustenance. Distinctive in form, with flattened bodies and cephalic fins, mantas are the ocean's gentle giants. Their wingspans, sometimes exceeding 20 feet, make them the largest of all rays. Gentle and often solitary, they occasionally congregate. Especially in food-rich areas or at cleaning stations, where smaller fish offer their services. Life for the manta isn't without its challenges. From the threat of entanglement to the ever-changing dynamics of their habitats. 
they navigate their world with a resilience that speaks of millennia of adaptation. As the manta ray continues its graceful ballet, a distinct sound fills the ocean, a playful chittering that heralds the arrival of one of the ocean's most intelligent inhabitants. Amidst the crashing waves, a pod of dolphins emerges, ready to share their chapter in this marine odyssey. These streamlined and graceful beings glide through the waters with an elegance that captivates. Their synchronized movements reflect their kinship and a shared purpose. while their playful leaps and splashes showcase their boundless energy. Their complex vocalizations, a mix of clicks, whistles, and chirps, reveal an advanced level of communication. These sounds allow dolphins to convey messages, share food locations, or even express emotions. Beyond mere communication, dolphins possess the remarkable ability of echolocation. Emitting high-pitched clicks and listening to the returning echoes, they construct detailed sonic maps of their surroundings. This not only aids in hunting, but also in navigating the vast expanse of the epipelagic zone. Their primary diet consists of small fish and various cephalopods. And with their burst speed, they can chase down their prey with remarkable precision. Play is integral to dolphin life. Whether engaging in games or riding the waves, these moments highlight their curious and spirited nature. Moving in harmony, the pod showcases the strength of their social bonds. From nurturing the young to hunting in coordinated efforts, Their actions underscore the importance of community in the marine world. In the vastness of the ocean, dolphins often travel great distances, exploring, hunting, and interacting with other marine life. Their keen intelligence and sociable nature have led them to form intricate relationships, not just with their own kind, but also with other marine species. Their presence uplifts the marine ecosystem, adding vibrancy and life to the ever-changing waters. As we leave the pod to continue their journey, we're left with a profound appreciation for these intelligent beings. With their boundless zeal, the dolphins perfectly embody the spirit of the ocean. Within the boundless expanse of our blue marble's oceans, a colossal presence moves silently. Its silhouette playing with the sun's rays filtering from above. Dotted with a constellation of unique patterns, the whale shark's skin tells a story of ancient lineage and evolutionary marvel. Despite their colossal stature, 
whale sharks sustain themselves on the ocean's minutiae. Thriving on plankton, tiny fish and microscopic life forms that flourish in warm, nutrient-dense waters. Their cavernous mouths open wide, acting as sieves, filtering vast volumes of water to capture their minuscule prey. It's a dance of contrasts. The ocean's largest fish feeding on its smallest inhabitants. Found predominantly in tropical waters, these solitary nomads undertake impressive migrations. They've been known to journey from regions like the Gulf of California all the way to the Western Pacific Ocean. While they favor warmer climates, rare sightings have occurred in cooler waters off places like New York and Cape Cod during the warmer months. In the company of the whale shark, a myriad of smaller marine life finds sanctuary, either seeking protection or hitching a beneficial ride. Such coexistence is a recurring theme among the creatures we have encountered. Whale sharks, with their slow, deliberate movements, exude a sense of wisdom and timelessness. Their eyes, small in comparison to their vast bodies, have witnessed the changing tides and currents of the oceans for decades. Each individual, marked by its distinct pattern of spots and stripes, carries forward the legacy of its ancestors, a living chronicle of the ocean's vast heritage. As the whale shark continues its journey through the warm, sunlit waters, our gaze casts down to the seafloor. where a small yet enchanting creature captures our attention, the bobtail squid. Barely the size of a thumb, this diminutive cephalopod is a master of disguise. With a body that can change colors and patterns in the blink of an eye, the bobtail squid seamlessly blends into its surroundings, evading predators with ease. But its most mesmerizing adaptation lies beneath the surface of its skin. In a beautiful dance of nature and evolution, the bobtail squid has formed a symbiotic relationship with bioluminescent bacteria. These bacteria, housed in a specialized light organ, emit a soft glow. This glow helps the squid camouflage against the moonlit or starlit waters above, a strategy known as counter-illumination. But the ocean's wonders don't stop at mere camouflage. The bobtail squid, in its daily routines, showcases the intricate relationships and adaptations that life has evolved over millennia. As the bobtail squid disappears into the sandy floor, we're reminded that even the smallest creatures hold secrets and stories that continue to fascinate and inspire. Upon the rugged coastlines, 
where waves crash and the symphony of the sea meets land, a formidable presence emerges. The elephant seal, named for the male's pronounced proboscis, is a marvel of marine adaptation. These giants, often seen lounging on remote beaches, are more than just sunbathers. They are long distance travelers, undertaking vast migrations across the Pacific covering thousands of miles in search of food. Their epic odyssey leads them into the heart of the frigid and enigmatic Antarctic, where they brave the depths of its icy waters. Their social dynamics come to the fore. Males, with their distinctive elongated noses, engage in fierce battles for dominance, their roars echoing across the beaches. Elephant seals possess a remarkable ability to find their way back to their natal beaches after long migrations. This homing instinct, combined with their incredible diving capabilities, makes them invaluable subjects for marine research. Scientists often attach tracking devices to these seals, turning them into oceanographers that help uncover the mysteries of the deep. Through these endeavors, we've gained insights into ocean currents temperatures, and even the distribution of prey in the vast marine expanse. While their time on land is dedicated to molting, fighting, breeding, and birthing, it's in the water that their true prowess shines. Embarking on dives that can extend beyond an hour, their bodies are marvelously adapted. With a reservoir of oxygen-rich blood and the ability to regulate their heart rate, they traverse the ocean's depths with remarkable efficiency. Capable of diving to depths of over 5,000 feet, they venture into the mesopelagic zone in search of squid and fish, their primary diet. As we follow our guides into the depths, we reach a darker area of the ocean. Immersing ourselves into the vast expanse of the open ocean, we witness a captivating shift. A passage from the sun-drenched surface towards the realms where light begins to play hide and seek. We hover at the higher reaches of the mesopelagic zone where the sun's rays, though diluted, continue to paint ghostly waves on the deep sea canvas. Here, the ocean scarcely whispers secrets of daylight, opening the stage for those adapted to thrive in a world caught between light and dark. A world of shadowy silhouettes, dimly glowing bioluminescence, and creatures that have evolved to master the art of living in this gentle twilight. At the borders of the sunlit surface where the seafloor drops, and a labyrinth of cracks and crevices form, we encounter a creature that seems to have sprung from ancient marine legends, the wolf eel. With a face only a mother could love, the wolf eel is not truly an eel, but a species of wolffish. 
primarily found nestled among rocky outcroppings, the wolf eel has a preference for crustaceans, using its strong jaws to crush the hard shells of crabs and sea urchins. Its elongated body, powerful jaws and sharp teeth give it a fearsome appearance. Yet this creature is more of a gentle giant than a menacing predator. Despite their solitary and somewhat reclusive nature, wolf eels form strong pair bonds. Once they find a mate, they often remain together for life, sharing a den and guarding their eggs with a dedication that speaks of deep-seated instincts and the drive to ensure the survival of their lineage. Venturing from the secluded world of the wolf eels, we pass a pink basket star, its delicate arms swaying in the gentle currents. Guided by the gauzy movements of the star, we navigate further, edging towards the brink of the twilight. Here awaits a silent hunter the frogfish anglerfish. This creature, dwelling in the oceanic drop-offs, effortlessly challenges the boundary where light surrenders to the shadows. Its squat body and warty surface, while otherwise unassuming, weave the perfect illusion blending synchronously with its backdrop. To its prey and predators alike, it's almost invisible, just another element in the deep sea tapestry. The frogfish anglerfish is a creature of patience. Its deceptive lure, a fleshy extension mimicking a worm, dangles strategically from its head. It's a splash of unmistakable colour in an otherwise bland landscape, drawing attention from passing prey as an intriguing oddity. As its target approaches, captivated by the syncopated sway of the lure, it opens its gaping mouth. This vast cavity, capable of ingesting prey almost its own size, springs open in a swift motion, providing no chance for escape. From the mysterious allure of the angler frogfish, our journey takes us to another spectacle of the deep, the comb jellies. These creatures, seemingly sculpted from gelatin and light, move with a fluidity that belies the water around them. Their bodies, almost ethereal in transparency, are adorned with rows of cilia that refract the scant light of their environment, creating a mesmerizing display of colors. Though they might appear delicate, comb jellies are efficient predators. Instead of the stinging cells of their jellyfish cousins, they employ blasts, adhesive cells, to ensnare tiny prey that drifts into their path. As they pulse through the water, they often emit a soft glow, a phenomenon known as bioluminescence. In the dimly lit expanses, the sea nettle jellyfish finds its domain. These ethereal drifters, with their luminescent bells, serve as nature's living lanterns amidst the deep's inky blackness. Each kind, from the northern nettle, to the enchanting Japanese sea nettle, 
performs a unique dance. A mesmerizing ballet of deliberate rhythmic undulations. Behold, the Atlantic sea nettle, resembling a luminous mushroom speckled with a constellation of spots. Its delicate trailing tentacles and ornate oral arms are more than mere decoration. They harbor specialized cells, cnidocytes, that discharge venom with precision, immobilizing their unsuspecting prey in an instant. Journeying deeper, the elusive black sea nettle emerges. This titan of the depths, with its vast shadowy bell and graceful tentacles, asserts a commanding presence in this netherworld. Not far off, the northern sea nettle, adorned with its intricate designs and shades, further enriches this marine tapestry. Life in the twilight is not without its challenges. Beneath their ethereal beauty lies a daily struggle for survival. Predators such as the loggerhead turtle and larger predatory jellies are a constant threat. However, the sea nettle is not merely a victim in these waters. It is also a formidable hunter. Through a delicate sense of touch and the ability to detect minute changes in the water around them, they ambush their prey. Beyond their roles as both predator and prey, sea nettles contribute to the intricate web of marine biodiversity in ways that still surprise and captivate scientists. Recent studies suggest that these jellies play a pivotal role in ocean carbon cycling. By consuming vast amounts of plankton, they inadvertently lock away carbon, which eventually sinks to the ocean floor after they excrete it. This natural process helps regulate the amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. As they float and flutter, these jellies exemplify the marvels of evolution having fine-tuned their existence to the specific demands and challenges of the mesopelagic. As we follow the bubbles up, drifting away from the mesopelagic zone, and the captivating dance of the sea nettle jellyfish, the thick darkness of the twilight zone starts to wane. Just as the soft glimmers of light above begin to tease our senses, an unexpected visitor intercepts our path. A master of disguise and dexterity, an octopus gracefully swims before us. Its tentacles move in a mesmerizing choreography while its intelligent eyes survey the surroundings. Drawn by its beauty, we momentarily divert our ascent to accompany this incredible creature. As it glides purposefully toward the safety and bounty of the reef. This invertebrate, an alien of the deep, exhibits remarkable intelligence and adaptability, making it one of the ocean's most interesting residents.
The octopus, with its bulbous head and sprawling tentacles, is equipped with specialized cells called chromatophores. It can change its skin color and texture in an instant, blending seamlessly into its surroundings. Whether it's the coral-covered floor or a sandy seabed, the octopus can become nearly invisible, eluding predators and surprising prey. But its ability to camouflage is just one facet of its intellect. Studies have shown that octopuses are capable of solving puzzles, using tools and even escaping from closed spaces. Each of its eight arms is equipped with suckers, sensitive to touch and taste. These arms function semi-independently, allowing the octopus to multitask. Whether it's exploring its environment, hunting or fending off threats. Yet, for all its prowess, the octopus lives a relatively short life. With many species surviving just a few years. It is during this short span that it must learn, adapt, mate, and leave a legacy in the form of eggs for the next generation. In its solitary journeys across the ocean floor, the octopus reminds us of the vast mysteries that the seas still hold. It challenges our understanding of intelligence and urges us to respect and protect the delicate balance of life beneath the waves. As we leave behind this remarkable creature and its enigmatic domain, we ascend, feeling the pressure ease and the dimness fade. The deep blues start to shimmer with dappled sunlight, and as we break the water's surface, the vast horizon stretches before us. Below us, resting gracefully on the water, is the albatross. As it takes to the skies with a sweeping grace, we're compelled to follow its path. Soaring high above, the albatross guides us towards remote islands, far from mainland shores. These islands play a pivotal role in the albatross's life. Here, amidst rugged cliffs and windswept shores, albatrosses build their nests. Made from mud, grass and feathers. These nests serve as cradles for the next generation. The dedication with which these birds tend to their offspring, braving storms and long spells away in search of food, is truly awe-inspiring. Their life, though set against the backdrop of vast oceans, centers around these patches of land where they nurture their young. But these islands are more than just nesting grounds. They are microcosms of life, teeming with unique species and stories of their own. Join us next time on Earth's Living Odyssey as we journey deeper into the island oasis. We'll witness the fiery birth of volcanic islands 
marvel at the intricate beauty of coral atolls, and immerse ourselves in the rich tapestry of unique flora and fauna, treasures found nowhere else on Earth. From towering peaks to shimmering lagoons, each island holds secrets waiting to be unveiled. Until we embark on our next journey, may Earth's splendors and the symphony of nature uplift and guide you. <laughs>